What's up out there? We are in the Settlers of Calgar League, and I was actually planning on having a series of videos out. I want—I was hoping to start my Caustic Arrow Trickster, get through the campaign, and do a series of videos, uh, cut up, you know, edit them down a little bit, and show the different uh, acts of the game and how the character developed. But my league has been absolutely miserable up to this point, and I'm in—I've completed the campaign. It took me 13 hours and 39 deaths. Uh, as you see, I do not have a map device because I can't complete a map. This build, I don't know what my problems are, but we'll get into it. I think I have some idea. But let's talk about things that I can blame someone else for first. So the game has been locking up, I don't know, half a dozen times or more. It's It just freezes and then goes to white screen and I have to end task and then restart it. So that's been absolutely frustrating the load time into towns and stuff like that it, it sometimes acts like it's just never going to load which sometimes it'll kick you out to the um main loading or the select the character selection screen it'll sometimes kick you out to that but i haven't had that i've just been locked up every once in a while so the game's been locking up here and there which has been absolutely maddening uh currency has been abysmal i've had no currency and up until about act six, I could hardly buy anything. And it was in act six that I could actually upgrade a bow, put some uh, quality on it. This is what you, what you see is what I've pretty much got. I've spent very little and this is about it. Maybe 10 or 12 uh, wet stones and armor scraps. Like I've had very little and not very many jewelers orbs, not many orbs of fusings. Uh, Chrome seemed fine because I always pick up the RGB items and trade them in, but I've had like two scourings or three maybe. Uh, I haven't really had to use an orb of regret yet, but I was really uh, stuck on orbs of transmutation for a while. Like it's been brutal just not getting anything to drop. So in addition to that, my gear is terrible because I've had no drops for gear hardly at all. And my resistances aren't that good. I, I've just, it, it's, it's been not good. And I don't understand why. Like, I, it just felt like there was a, not nearly as much drops. And I have a, my loot filter set to show everything. I, through the campaign, I don't hide anything because there's usually not that much. And I'm, <clears throat> I have a different approach for this league this time. I'll get into that here in a minute. But, um, I don't. Re I have a leveling filter that just basically shows things in the right color that I want to see them in, and then I show everything on the ground. I don't really care. Uh, it does filter certain things out here and there, but for the most part, I see all the gear that drops, and there's just been nothing. No currency, no gear, very little of any of it. I've had to buy and upgrade some of a lot of the stuff that I've got with what little currency I do get. Uh, it. In fact, some of this I just bought off the, and I, I've noticed like the vendors don't sell anything rare. I thought they used to sell some rare stuff. I Maybe I'm kind of keyed into it because of how crappy this league has been for me so far, but I, I don't know. That's been a problem. I One time I tried that bismuth thing and it lit tornadoes and lightning off all over the place. I don't know how many times I died a couple of times there just trying to get through that, uh, that act. That was brutal. Um, I didn't realize those tornadoes would come up and wipe you out. I, I got caught with those inside a pack of mobs a few times and got killed. And then found out that even when you, even without activating the bismuth thing, the tornadoes hurt you. I, I caught that a few times. I wasn't paying attention to it too much. And I felt like there was a lot more mobs in the maps and a lot more rares. I got chased by a lot of stuff I couldn't kill. Now, I know my build is underperforming severely, so there was definitely some issues with all of that. So that's everything I can blame somebody else for. Uh, my mistakes. This was probably not a great build to start with. Number one, I understand that. I can admit to that. I have most of my passive tree picked up at this point. This is pretty much what I had last league, although I've made some changes to it. Uh, we're coming up into chaos. I'm going over here to essence surge. And then the last of it, I'm going to come up over here to heart of darkness. We'll have... Uh, a little bit more chaos damage, chaos pen, stuff like that. And some of the things that I changed in the routing was I came up through resourcefulness, cold-hearted calculation, then up through here. Oh, I do need to pick up written in blood and come over here to growth and decay. I forgot about coming back down to that. 
but I came up through this way to pick these up and then came up this way. So I've kind of changed that a little bit, but I've also, I also kind of want to get soul thief at some point too. One of the problems I was running into was mana. So I picked up, well, not only did I pick up clever thief, um, but I also picked up blood drinker, recover life on kill in Matt increased life. And then I came down here and grabbed uh, circle of life. So you get 10 life per, enemy hit with attacks and then 12% of damage taken recouped as life. Uh, Caustic arrow is an attack. It does have the word attack in it. So you can get, um, uh, th this covers it, the gain 10 life per enemy hit with attacks. And I am shooting four arrows out when I fire. So that's helping out a little bit. We've got um, volley support on here. So I've only got a four link and I did get caustic arrow of poison. So during one of my ascendancies, I did get this and I swapped over to it. It's got a lot more DPS, but I think I'm more dependent on, well, I know I'm more dependent on chance to poison, which is right now 65%. If I, I do have Herald of Agony on. So it's up from like 45 to 65 or something like that. Um, however much that adds 20% chance to poison. Yeah. So I put that on there when I realized that mistake. And like I said, I started taking some of these nodes that would uh, give me life on hit and stuff like that. And then I backed out of these over here. Uh, I also started picking up like fatal toxins. Once I got this gem, once I got this caustic arrow of poison, I started picking up fatal toxins and I swung, instead of going up through bow damage, I came down to poison chance and damage over here for Hunter's Gambit. So I've got those picked up. Uh, we've got Master Fletcher to get an additional arrow out. And then I'm not sure where else I'm going to go. I definitely know I want to get Soul Thief. I need to come down here to Growth and Decay, pick up Written in Blood along the way. And then over here to Heart of Darkness. That's probably going to round me out as far as skill points go. Um, yeah, because I got Charisma over here. Mana-wise, I was suffering a lot for a little while. I put Clarity on, which I'm probably still running. You know what? Maybe I'm not running Clarity. You know, I still am running Clarity. So I do have clarity, but like my life, I know my life sucks, but again, I just didn't get very much gear. So I do have a little bit of life on some of this stuff, but a lot of it's just not, uh, I guess I do have life on everything. I didn't realize that, but man, it, it's, it's just been, yeah, it's been kind of crappy. Um, one other problem that I ran into is I, I started this with um, Cobra Lash. I should have kept Cobra Lash for a longer period of time, one of the biggest things that I ran into early on is I switched over to Caustic Arrow way too soon, so it was only firing one arrow and just a little dinky pool. And I should have switched back to um, Cobra Lash and let that run for a little while. I'm half tempted to go, because I'm in Trade League, I'm half tempted to do an SSF start with this exact character and try to work out some of those starting kinks and get some of that stuff figured out. The other problem that I had was my... Um, not my, not necessarily my elemental resistances, which are definitely trash now that I've completed the campaign. Like I just completed the campaign, so I don't have any of this figured out. I don't have any, I don't have any items for it. But one of the things that took me too long, I kept getting frozen and I died a few times from being frozen. It took me a while to realize, hey, you might want to put purity of elements on, which deviated from the build that I ended up with. I did this build last league, but I did it as a second character. Um, like right at the very beginning of the league. So I had a little bit of currency and gear to build it up. And then I spent a lot of time with it at the end of the league. So it ultimately ended up fairly well, but I didn't like league starting. This was definitely not the right way, but um, let's see here. What I ultimately decided, I got really frustrated. I was doing going to do a video the other day and I was like, man, this sucks. I'm just, I'm miserable. I'm, I'm hating the league. I, I actually kind of thought about grabbing somebody's build guide and just try to do something. My grand plan for this entire league is I want to do builds. I was anticipating a good currency league. I've got nothing out of the sailing stuff. Um, but, and I like, you see, I just don't have a whole lot. Like this is terrible. I can probably work on a little bit of gear at the moment and start replacing stuff, but it, it's, I, I've got, I'll go into what I'm doing there in a minute. But what I want to do with this league is actually do a bunch of different builds. And I have some ideas for it. Like I'd love to revisit Exsanguinate, not on the juggernaut this time. I want, 
One of the things that I, I was thinking about is I have several builds that I would like to try. Uh, like, um, oh, there's certain ascendancies that I've never used, say Berserker or Chieftain. Uh, Champion, I've never used Champion. Uh, I don't think I've used Assassin, which I've heard is not that great. Saboteur, probably not. I don't think I've really used a Templar at all. And then an Elementalist or a Necromancer or an Occultist, I don't think I've really done anything with those or anything that was recent. Because I started when I first started playing this game, I played as a Witch and tried that out. What I want to do with this league, I'm not worried about... I, I would... I want to beat the Eater and the Exarch. That's what I typically do every league. So I want to try to get a build that can do that for sure. But my grand plan for this league, if I can get to it, is to have one build per Ascendancy. I, I don't care about the Scion. I've already done a Scion. I'm not worried about that. But I wanted to try. We've got the uh, Gladiator rework. We've got the Warden is in there now. They've reworked all the melee stuff. And there's so many different ascendancies that I've not tried. So I probably will be just doing a bunch of different characters. Maybe I'll play through several different ones, get them through the campaign, and then see how they all work. This is going to be a little slower league for me. Um, I'm not necessarily in a hurry to get things done or get anywhere. But that's what I want to do with this league is build characters. And it got me to thinking after I, I was pissed off after this weekend, after this the way this went... And I woke up today and I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I need to refigure my thinking on this whole thing. This is exactly what I wanted to do. And that's why I kind of mentioned I would think about league starting this build here into SSF to actually try and um, um, get my process down. What does the early game say acts one through six or something like that? What does that look like before I switch over to Caustic Arrow? At some point, I would have enough stuff selected on here that I could switch over to Caustic Arrow. And if I look at, I still have it, don't I? I should still have my Cobra Lash in here. I don't know what it looks like. I guess I don't. So if we go over here and let's see here, Cobra. This thing is an attack, projectile, and chaos. And Caustic Arrow is attack, projectile, and chaos. So this one used with like claws and stuff like that, dagger, claw, claw looks better. It's got a little circle that goes out, but they're kind of the same thing. And this does poison and stuff like that, where I, this kind of fits into the plan of caustic arrow of poison. If I wanted to convert into that or just convert into caustic arrow, like the, the passive tree, I think would be similar. So I think if I did do an SSF part, because my SSF is blank, I have no currency, I have no builds or nothing. I was thinking how to replicate this weekend and how poorly everything went and how I could test it to see how to make it better. And that's what the point of this league is going to be, is for me to try out just different builds on different ascendancies and different classes and stuff like that and see how these work. Um, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to go back to Bone Shatter or not, but I took down all the ascendancies and I wrote down like what they have on them. Like Gladiator's got some bleed, block and bleed and retaliation and stuff like that and uh, I did try out Chieftain last league. It looks like it's good for fire, but I tried it with a fireball. It didn't work that well, but I think there would be some good fire skills or fire base skills that I would like to try, especially with all the attack and retaliation. So basically this is going to be my league to sit down with no POBs, nobody else's build guides. I just want to sit down and create stuff and see where it gets me. I know they're not going to perform very well. I know they're not going to be great. My hope was that we were going to get a lot of currency from the boat league and all that stuff. And then I would be able to use this build to get into the mapping section and get a bunch of stuff mapped out, white maps, yellow maps, something like that. It's not worked out the way I wanted, but that was kind of my hope. And that's where we're at. So I do have a couple of builds already started and am processing them. Now, this is a duelist that I started off. He is just at the very bare beginning. I, I don't really have a total vision for him yet. But I started him off, he is just, uh, I don't know, a little bit into the campaign, not very much at all. And I started him over the weekend. I kind of got, I was still pretty pissed off about the whole, the way the league was going so far. So I canned him and ended up finishing my uh, Caustic Arrow build. So he's started, he is going to be some form of duelist at some point. Now, this build is going to be a Warden, and this is what's starting off as, what are we doing here for uh, Frostblades? So I know Frostblades Trickster is a big thing. I've heard that thrown out a lot, but 
I wanted to try the Warden Ascendancy out. That looks really cool. And we've got Tinctures back, which I've got one here with 78% increased elemental damage with melee weapons. I want to try this out. I did read that one of the nodes you can take in the Ascendancy gives you access to bows, uh, use Tinctures with bows. So I may try that. But I was looking at this. There's a lot of elemental stuff over here. We've got like this one here gives you increased elemental damage with attack skills. Uh, there's some more elemental stuff over here with forces of nature. And there's just a, looks like there's a bunch of it along in here somewhere. And then there's these, I saw some tincture nodes and stuff like that. So this is going to be, this will be the next build that I'm working on. He's a little slower. Um, I just got to the Mervale caves here a little bit ago. Um, but this is going to be, I, I need to get his speed up. Why did I have this on here? What does this thing do? Oh, I was checking that skill out. One of the things that I've also been doing is just trying different skills just to see how they mesh and whether I like them or not. You know, uh, I, I wanted to try Infernal Blow, um, something maybe with Chieftain or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that skill. It's a little bit up close like this thing here. You got to come up and stab, you know, like right on top of them. I'm hitting the right. No, I'm not hitting the right button. I'm changing my stance. Got the wrong key, hotkey. Uh, these guys have been freezing me constantly. This sucks. I've been out of uh, out of mana a lot, so I need to get that worked out. Um, another kind of annoying thing is when I die, I, have, I keep forgetting that the auras and stuff start on their own, so I kind of keep forgetting about that. In fact, I'm going to move this over while I'm looking at it so that this is here and that is not there. But that's kind of what I want to do with this league. I'm not necessarily worried about pushing uh, as you know, the hardest content possible. Like I, I just kind of accepted to this point that I don't have a good way of beating the Maven at, at this time. I don't have a build that can do it. I've not done it yet. So I don't foresee myself doing it at any point in the near future. And I'd like to focus on trying to actually learn builds, not somebody else's build, not something that, you know, I got to go figure out what their vision for the build was and <coughs> sort all that stuff out. <coughs> But I would like to actually run my own builds, <clears throat> and I know they're not going to be good. So, <clears throat> man. So I'm willing to take that into account and just try to learn as much as I can. That That's going to be my goal for this league, is to just try to learn. Because I think that's where I learn best, is just trying things. So I figure if I sit down and just do stuff like this... And actually work on it, see what fails, see where I am needing to pick something up. So like, uh, I know on my Caustic Arrow build, I could league start that. I don't think there's a problem league starting it. I think my problem is I need to sort out my early game and get it understood and planned out and not just kind of start and hope I get there. Because like last league, I played that as a second character, literally the second character I played. And... Like I said, I got my Exsanguinate Scion into the uh, mapping section, and that build did good. That build did fine. So I was able to get some gear and have plenty of currency and stuff built up. And this time around, the, the one that I did as second is now first, and it's not necessarily as good. So that's pretty much what I've got going on. I was a little bit uh, aggravated over the whole weekend. I guess I'm going to stop here because I... I don't really plan on playing anymore tonight, but I wanted to put some videos out this weekend, but I ran into so many problems. I was like, this is just not, not happening. So that is where I am in the league. I am in the mapping section, although I can't do a map. I am probably going to work on this guy for a little while and see where this takes me. Uh, we can respec with gold. So I'm going to focus on that. I have got my town built up a little bit. I need to spend some more time with that, but, uh, uh, the league is not going as well as I wanted it to, so I will say that. I'm going to try to make the best of it. I'm going to try to do uh, the, the plan that I have, which is making my own builds and seeing how this goes. I'm hoping I get a build that can actually do mapping at some point, um, but we'll see. So anyway, that's all I've got for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.